Five tickets for me to the Chicago Football Classic. If you can do that, of course, you're going to get recognized on the air. We want you to give those tickets to some young people in the community. Make sure that they show up to the game. Spenzo's in the studio with me. He's going back to Inglewood around his home area around 71st Street. And, and he's got some young people over there that he wants to mentor. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we get some tickets to him. He's going to identify some shorties in the hood that want to come out. And they want to see a, a different reality. Yes, sir. And we're going to make that happen. How can people get your music, though, Spencer? I want to make sure that you, you're out here. And you know, because I understand, you, you, or did you just sign? Or are you close to signing the deal? Uh, yes, sir. I'm uh, linked in with uh, Infrared Music Group. It's an independent label. Good. The label is signed to uh, Atlantic Records. And Good. With partners. So, you know, it's, I'm a businessman now. There you go. You got some distribution, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. where the game starts, right there in the yes, music sir. business. So, people, is, is any music online that people can get to and check you out? Yes, sir. Ancientspenzo.com, A I N. T, just the regular U S P E N Z O dot com. So you, you can go there and you can check out everything from the SoundCloud to Twitter, Instagram, to Tumblr, everything. Like it, everything is on there. So go out there, and, you know, go on there and see see what I'm about. You know, check me out and uh, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Really go through there and just and just see what I'm about. I need you helping me with my social media. You see all that stuff he named the Tumblr and Cloud and all that, man. All I. All I got, all I got is like uh, Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> I got you. I got you. You got me. All right, all right. I'm gonna follow your lead, uh, guys. You hear him every Thursday at 3:30 on the Cliff Kelly Show. Attorney Ted London, of course, heard my call out there to get uh, young brothers involved in sending some young people to the game, and he called in. Attorney London, you're gonna make a contribution to this cause. Okay. Hey. Good morning. There you go. And what we're going to do, so Spenzo, when Spenzo goes into the hood, he's going to call back and he's going to identify some kids that want to go to the game. And, uh, and, and attorney Ted London is going to sponsor that for us, man. And there you go. And see... There you go. Let's do that, man. We're going to fill it up. Spenzo, do you have an attorney? Oh, man. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, I was about to say, all right. So I was about to say, if you don't, Ted London, I'm going to take you down the street to attorney Ted London's office, man. I, I, I get your card. I get your card. I need an attorney for an attorney. There you go. <laughs> there you go, attorney Ted London. You guys know it. The attorney Ted London. Every three Thursday, 3.30, the 3.30 focus, he comes on WVOA and gives you advice on your legal affairs. And one of the best attorneys, and I'm not just saying it because I know attorney London, but he is one of the best attorneys uh, in the city, man. He gets in that courtroom and he holds it down. All right, 591-1690 is the number to call. Uh, the Ray Rice uh, story uh, is the big story news of the day. Of course, we've been talking about that all morning and uh, try to get an expanded conversation, kind of different from what you're seeing on television, guys. Uh, because when you turn on TV, you're going to get, I think, a TV response, which is everybody's going to say the politically correct thing. And I don't know that we're touching this conversation in a broad way. Yeah, we all agree Ray Rice was wrong. And there's a consequence you have to pay for your behavior. You cannot hit anybody. You cannot hit a woman. You cannot hit anybody. Ray Rice should have known better. This was a huge, huge lapse in judgment, and he's going to pay for it. Um, and it seems like he will never play football in the National Football League again. A lot of people are cool with that. I'm not so sure that that's the appropriate punishment. Shouldn't people be given a second chance? Uh, did he make a mistake? Some people say, Matt, you can't call it a mistake. This is more than a mistake. I'm like, well, a mistake is when you do something that you shouldn't have done, right? And he should not have done it. We know that. Uh, but what does it say? And how does the, his, his wife play into this? A lot of people have been criticizing and saying, you know, you know, she was just staying with him for the money. She should have left him at first and yada, yada. Are we judging her too harshly on this? Because when you look at the story, what is she getting out of it in the end? She's embarrassed by this video showing her getting beat up, drug out of an elevator. And now, you know, her husband now has been cut out of the league 
and her source, her support, her man who is earning the money, this woman should be enjoying the fact that she's married to an NFL star who's making millions of dollars. Now all of that has been taken away from her. I think she's a real loser, and I think everybody out there is not even focusing on her. She's the real victim in all of this, and that's the, the, the terrible part of this story. And I don't know, Spencer, you know anything about that? Have you been following the Ray Rice story at all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I was looking at it this morning as I was leaving out the door, and uh, it's, just, it's just sad, man. It's, uh, it's truly sad. It's, uh, it's, 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 a tragic, it's, it's a tragic situation, and I say that because uh, both of them were charged with domestic, and, uh, and I, I believe it takes two to tango because I've seen a video personally. I'm not going off a of, uh, Third person, I'm going off first person from looking at the video, but I wasn't there in the situation. Right. And none of us were there, right? None of, so, right? none of us were there, but you know, for the little footage we did, uh, uh, got a chance to see. And she kind of she she hit him, and then like she kind of tapped, tapped him. Tapped him, little love, right? Tap. Yeah, it was a tap. And, and we've got to be as men, we've got to be bigger than that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tap, and uh, I, I believe he, he it was just part of the heat of the moment and the energy, and it was just like, uh. But I, I wish he could have just walked away. There you go. Because personally, I'm a, a non-confrontational type of person. Uh, I kind of see it from a different perspective. Uh, mm -hmm. We all, I'm human as well. We all make mistakes. But I just think he, he should have knew better not to, not to do that because it was, it's a different force when he swung. It was right. different than a woman, and, woman's, woman's uh, swing. It was like his force was like she fell. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I tell young people all the time? And, and I was speaking to some young people your age, man, some young brothers. I say... As men, we can never put our hands on women, man. Yes. And we, you, we just, that is just rule number one. We, you, you can just never put your hands on a woman, man. It's just, they, totally no matter how frustrated, and Spencer, you're 18, you trust me when I tell you, bro, you're you, you, you going to get frustrated by women. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's coming. You're human. And, and, but you, like you said, we have got to walk it off. And I tell that to young brothers all the time. You've got to walk it off, man. There's just no, you know, two men can get into it. We can scrap it up. We can get into a tussle. Because a lot of times that's how we, we, we settle our situations, yes, right? Sir. In fact, if we, if we are mixing it up and boxing with each other, that's a good thing. Because what we see too often in the streets, you know, people pull out a gun and try to resolve their conflicts that way. So, you know, men, if we do it, we conflict with each other. We live for another day and we walk it off. We never want to get into that situation with a woman, man. And so your non-confrontational style is exactly what we're trying to teach young yes, people sir. out yes, here, man. I appreciate that. Senator uh, Kwame Raul wanted to comment on it for one of our earlier uh, conversations we had on it. Senator, welcome back to the show. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what I said to Senator Rowe? I said, if, if he had, when he knocked her out, if he had got down on the ground and started hugging her and was like, oh my God, what did I do? This video might play, might, may have played out in a different way. You, yeah, that's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I get that, but 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 that and, and my thing is though that's speculation. Right, right, right. 
Oh, that, yeah, there's no question. I mean, when you hit a woman, right, there, there's no question that you have a problem. See, my, my, my issue with this is that it's not, it wasn't premeditated, right? It was a reaction. But some people want to say that, no, he's a violent person, Matt, so it probably was premeditated. And with one thing that the video does kind of reveal, which nobody is really saying, premeditation to me would have been she's on one side of the elevator, he's on the other side of the elevator, and he walks toward her and hit her. He kind of stepped back, and she got mad, and she came toward him, and then I saw a reaction, a bad reaction, but he's wrong no matter what. I am not trying to defend Ray Rice. I'm not trying to defend Ray Rice at all. I'm trying, all, all I'm trying to say is, is this a teaching moment to the degree where we can learn from it, or do we bury the brother in the ground and just say, man, you, make, you made a mistake and you're done. It's a wrap. Right, right. Right. But and, and, and apparently he's gone through. Right. OK, I agree with you. I agree with you. No doubt about it. Uh, Senator, again, thanks, though, for your thousand dollars worth of tickets that you buy every year for the Chicago Football Classic. Amazing, as always, brother, man. You're one of the strong leaders in our community, one of the best public servants out there. And uh, appreciate uh, not only what you're doing in Chicago football class, but everything that you're doing out there, man. And, and people need to know uh, the quality of the work that you do out there, man. Appreciate you. See you on Saturday, September 20th. Uh, Senator Kwame Raul in the House 848. We're going to wrap it up with Spenzo when we come back. A couple more phone calls. Don't do that. Traffic and weather coming up next. News on the